Morning everybody. So it's Wednesday the 4th of November 2020. Uh, we're doing things a little bit differently today. Um, normally we vlog on a weekend, uh, but today, as if you didn't know, tomorrow uh, we're going to our second lockdown. So Jessica thought it'd be a good idea if I spent some time together, if we spent some time together doing some fun things. So I've stepped back on the job locking front, so I've taken a day off today. Um, and then we're going to do some fun activities just before going to lockdown because I'm not sure when we're going to be able to do it again. So we're going to McDonald's just to get some breakfast. Uh, we've got bowling books about half eleven for free games. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of shopping in town or have a look around the shops. Uh, then we've got a lunch at Harvestar, one of our favourite places to eat in the UK, at 2pm. And then at 4 o'clock we're going to our local Odeon that's still open surprisingly. I thought it had been closed like the rest of the cinemas here around around the UK and we're going to see a new film with Liam Neeson in it so um, it's a fun day we're going to take you with us um, we're looking forward to vlog it's going to be a bit strange filming on a weekday because we've always filmed on a on a Friday night or a Saturday so it's going to be strange uh, here's Trevor laying in the sun as usual morning Trev you got anything to say no He's just laying in the sun. Jessica's currently getting ready at the moment. Uh, so um, we'll be leaving, well, whenever she's ready. Um, I'm currently watching the uh, election for America. Uh, Joe Biden's in the lead, but only narrowly. Um, I'm not sure how long that's going to hold out for. Because uh, I do think probably Trump will edge it, but we'll see. Uh, Trump's um, announced a few minutes ago that um, he wants counting to stop because he knows he's won and if he doesn't win, or doesn't win, sorry, he's going to take legal action at the Supreme Court, but I'm not sure what leg he's got to stand on there. I don't really understand it all at the moment, but he's always been a weird, strange bloke, hasn't he? So, um, yes, yeah, so as I said, I'm waiting for Jess to get ready now and we'll be off. It's coming up to 10 o'clock now, so we've got a fun full day of activities. Um, so as I said, men I mentioned earlier, I've taken a day off to uh, off the job looking front, I should say. Um, it's not going too well, to be honest, looking for jobs. I've been applying for about four or five a day, and I'm either getting no response at all, or it's unfortunately no. Sorry, we you do not meet the criteria, and it's getting a little bit. How do I say it? Um, I can't think of the word now. It's not very uh, it's not very nice getting emails, rejection emails saying no sorry, no sorry, or not even hearing back from anyone. It's getting a little bit disheartening. It makes me feel like, you know, I'm not really valued or worth anything. Um, it's making me feel like, what's the point? I don't really understand. It's getting to the point now where I don't want to apply for a job because I know it's going to come back uh, saying no. So it's quite nice they know that I haven't got any of that today. Uh, I'll get back on, the, well obviously when we go back in lockdown I'll have to start again. But it's just nice knowing that well, I've got a day after day just to do some fun things, cheap things, because uh, bowling was half price, so I got an email from Hollywood Bowl. So I've got a half price uh, voucher there, so me and Jess are going for three games and it was only £11. Uh, it was 50% off at Harvesters if you've got the app. Monday to Friday, uh, Monday to Wednesday. So today is the last day to use that. So that's fifty percent off. And then the cinema, it's five pound seats at the moment at Odeon on selected films. And also, if you've got Meerkat movies, you get a two for one code. So me and Jess will be able to go to the cinema today for two pound fifty each. We do have a Cineworld Unlimited card, which means Jess both pay. I think it's fourteen pound at the moment each. But obviously all the Cine Worlds in the UK have closed, so Odeon is the only one that's still open. So we're going to pay £2.50 each just to go to the Odeon, which that's fine, you know. It's good. Um, it's not that much expensive. So yeah, uh, we'll take you with us. I'm not sure what we're going to film, 
but I uh, will see you later guys and Trevi will say good morning bye where are we going today Wayne so today we're off to bowling dinner and the cinema Woo! Woo Another broken plate, another called off date. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack, was that we can't take back. We are the reason opposites attract. Once you slam the door on the second floor, I regret it all. When I think it through, I can help the way I feel for you. You make me lose my mind like all the time It still feels right Stuck in an endless fight like every night It still feels right Even the words can't sing I wanna change a thing Cause without you everything means Yours, baby, let's talk until we're fine You've been in bed for days Empty without me, you say Can't you just magically turn up in mine? Then you knock on my door on the second floor And I feel okay We just made it through And I love the way I feel for you Make me lose my mind like all the time It still feels right mm -hmm. Stuck in an endless fight like every night It still feels right mm -hmm. Even the words can't sing I wanna change a thing Cause without you everything is
get? A big strike. <laughs> <laughs> High five. Watch and learn. <laughs> Watch and learn what not to do. <laughs> Watch and learn how to do it. Our local shopping centre now we're about to go and get some food aren't we and book our tickets for the cinema uh, we've got a booking at Harvester for 2 p.m. and then we're going to see the Liam Neeson film at 4 p.m. so it should be a good afternoon did you say we're going to Harvester? Harvester first yeah okay. we'll see you guys soon bye, bye. we haven't been to the cinema in ages not for ages no and I take it it's going to be the same old film Liam Neeson trying to find someone and he's going to Probably. kill everyone who's hurt the Probably person. he goes on a, some revenge mission <laughs> and kills everyone that gets in his way <laughs> good boy for putting your mask on even though it's halfway up your head <laughs>
everyone. So Wayne and I have just got back from the cinema. We went to see a film called Honest Thief that stars Liam Neeson. It was really, really good. It was one of his typical movies that involves in rescuing a damsel in distress or like rescuing his family. But in this one, he was the criminal and he was trying to fight bad guys that aren't usual bad guys. So I'm not going to ruin too much for you, but it was definitely worth the watch. Um, we also had a lovely meal in Harvester. Now when Wayne and I go Harvester usually, we usually order the general burger, pasta. But today we really went off the menu from what we usually purchase. So Wayne went for a, uh, oh god, what, pork belly, sorry, that's what it was called. It was like a um, onion gravy jus thing. I'm not very good when it comes to food. I had a camembert and tomato tart, like it was like a little quiche sort of pie thing. I took obviously the tomato, I had a jacket potato with that without the skin and um, I also shared some Wayne's gravy which was really nice. I didn't put it on the camembert because that would be just gross. And we also, where else we go? Bowling! Wayne won the three games <laughs> that we played as per usual and we have this saying before we go that uh, have you got your bowling arms on so we always make sure we've got our bowling hands on and he taught me how to bowl properly and I didn't realise that when you go bowling you're meant to like pay attention to those little arrows that are down the lane and as soon as I did that I got three strikes so I'm quite pleased with myself the last game that we had we were neck and neck up until the last one Wayne managed to get another strike so he was very pleased with himself um, I have also uh, forgot to mention in our last vlog that we were going to show you all the things that we purchased. So we went to the range and we purchased a new kettle, which I will show you in a minute. And we also went to Pets at Home, as you saw, and we purchased a new collar for Trevi. So I will show you both of those. Um, I don't know whether you remember in our last vlog from last Wednesday, um, we mentioned that we were um, purchasing a new kettle. So I just wanted to show you the kettle that we'd purchased. This is the kettle that we purchased. Wayne's always wanted like a see-through kettle. And you're probably thinking, why are you showing me this? But I don't know what it is when it comes to tea. Wayne just goes absolutely crazy. And Trevi wants to show you too. This is the brand, it's Kitchen Master or Kitchen Master. And it's the 1.7 litre glass kettle in a stainless steel finish. And I think we paid about 29.99 for it. And the other thing we purchased was this collar that I showed you in Pets at Home last week. And Trevi looks very handsome, don't you Trevi? Yeah, you look so sexy in that new collar of yours. Don't you? Do you want to give everyone a little show? Yeah? I'll also show you these. These are the uh, leather trousers that I purchased from Lulu. I'll show you properly in a little while. But the other thing that I'd like to show you is the leggings that I've wore in today's video. And this isn't to get confused with the ones that I wore two weeks ago when we were at the Michael McIntyre show. They have now been returned. They were from Lipsy Next with Lipsy and they were £40 and they were amazing. They were comfortable. But because I paid with a voucher and a credit card, I had to wait for ages to get the voucher back. And then lo and behold, the day that I purchased a new pair of leather trousers, the money was refunded into my account and the voucher arrived. So I'm just going to save the voucher for when the uh, next sales are in January. So fingers crossed we're out of lockdown and I can go and do some shopping. Because usually they bring out all of the summer stock from last year that they've got saved over. So what I want to show you is the leggings that I also purchased in replace of those ones. They are, I don't know why I keep saying leggings every two minutes, they're leather trousers or pleather trousers as you want to call them, they're not real leather. So these were £22.99 from New Look and they are a lot more comfortable. The ones I had from Next were like um, a leather jean, so they had a zip and a button, so they look like jeans even though they were fake leather. These are more like leggings, that's probably why I keep saying leggings, but these have got some really cool zips on them. So I'm just going to reposition 
the camera and I'm going to show you these jeans the best that I can. I've never done one of these like outfit in the days. Oh, this top, I haven't got a clue where it was from. I bought it ages ago in the sale. I'll put the name here so you know where it was from, but there's no point me, I think it was Dorothy Perkins, there's no point me showing you because it was in the sale, so it's probably X stock. But I can show you the leggings because they are in the shop at the moment, even the sales assistant, which was really nice of her to mention. She was a Muslim lady, so I know that people from a Muslim culture are very conservative and they don't like to wear clothes that are very tight or very revealing. So the fact that the lady um, who was Muslim, who was the shop assistant, said that they were really flattering and they weren't too tight, which I don't want anything too tight. I'm not 21 anymore, I'm 30. so. I'll show you these leggings and you can see whether you like them or not. They are a size 18 because even though I have lost weight, I still like to size up just to give me a little bit of wiggle room. Not <laughs> God wiggle room. So these are the leggings that I purchased. You can see they've got two zips here. They aren't real pockets and there's one zip on this side. They do come quite high up in the waist. Um, I'll just give you a little bit of a look so you can see what the back looks like and then the front they just come all the way down i've got mine ruched up so you can have them down past your ankle i've just got mine ruched up because i've got some uh chelsea boots on and yeah they're just really lovely i've got uh, a vest on him so you could like tuck this in if you wanted and just have it all flowy over the front like that but i've got a little bit of a belly and i'm not that confident so you could wear it like this sorry if you can't see my head or you could wear it loose like that so yeah i think these are lovely for just like general everyday wear so they were 22.99 from my local new look and uh yeah so <laughs> it was a bit of an unconventional end to today's part of the video this was just meant to be like a one day vlog but because we're going to lockdown tomorrow Wayne and I thought we'd cover what we did during lockdown three months ago. So we're going to go for our normal daily walks. Even if it is cold, we're still going to go for a nice walk and wrap up warm. So we're going to take you on a walk either Friday or Saturday. And we will probably do some other things. I know we're making pizzas on Friday evening. We found these amazing pizza bases in Aldi and they were so cheap. So next time I'm in Aldi, I will link the cost of them because I can't remember. They were definitely less than a pound anyway. And you get two in a pack so we've got all the ingredients in the fridge to make some pizzas because i can't have a uh, like proper pizza you'll have saw in our vlog two weeks ago wayne had dominoes and i couldn't have any of it so i said to wayne rather than getting a takeaway or having a dom dominoes can we make our own pizzas i would like to uh purchase like the proper um puff pastry and make a uh, pizza that way but then again, I don't know what's in the dough, whereas this is quite a thin uh, pizza base and I can make um, my own toppings and stuff like that. So we're going to um, decorate our own pizzas and have them on Friday night and enjoy uh, the first full day of lockdown properly because tomorrow is probably going to be a write-off. There still will be people going out. There still will be people not following the rules. So... We're going to have a chill day tomorrow. We probably won't vlog anything and you'll probably see us next on Friday. So I will say goodnight to you now. I, you may see Wayne again tonight um, if Man United have won. If you don't see him, you know what's happened. They've probably lost. So I will say goodbye now. Bye, guys. I was about to start by saying hello, but Trevi wanted to get in on the action, didn't you? Say hello to YouTube. Nope. So, hi everyone. It's uh, currently Thursday the 5th of November. I'm coming to you from my living room. Sorry, Trevi just tail with me. Um, yeah, it's Thursday the 5th of November. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. Wayne and I had an amazing day yesterday because we knew that lockdown would be starting today. So um, we went bowling, we went to the cinema and we also had um, an early dinner. I uh, uh, can't really think of what else to come to you with really, other than I'm feeling rough today. Trevi, have you got anything you want to say? No. Trevi's just 
happy. He's, he knows when I'm not well and he tends to just keep me company, don't you? Trevi, do you want to say hello to everyone? Yeah, he's, he's making advantage of the nice sunny weather. You look so mean and angry. Are you tired? I don't think he's very happy with me because I was up all night last night. He doesn't really get much sleep either because he just sleeps on the couch. This is his new favourite space at the moment, right in front of the window where the sun hits in the afternoon. There's usually like a little square on the floor down there that he'll lie in. But he's so lovely. He just, he looks after me and reduces my anxiety levels when I'm not well. So we're hoping that Wayne will be home soon. I'm hoping that this sickness stops because Wayne and I are meant to be making pizzas tomorrow. At the end of the day, if I can't make a pizza, I can't make a pizza. It's not the be all and end all. Well, I'm probably going to sign off here. If Wayne doesn't pop on today, we will see you tomorrow. Depending on how I'm feeling, we may go for a walk. We may not. We may go for a walk on Saturday because it's meant to be sunny tomorrow and it's meant to be sunny Saturday. So I might even push myself to do two walks, big and brave. <laughs> so yeah, I will see you all soon. Hi everyone, it's the evening now. Wayne's back from the work he had to do earlier. I have been asked by one of my friends on Instagram to create a gift voucher that she's using for a giveaway on her Instagram. She has a shop called Molly May's Magical Makes. That's I think then because she used to be known as Disney Dream and Molly May. She's the lady who has created all of these beautiful prints behind me other than the Mickey Mouse that's Wayne's. So I just wanted to take you along um, while I design the gift voucher. I have designed all of her logos for her Etsy store. So I will link all of her um, shop information down below if you'd like to purchase anything. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get on with it now and I will see you guys soon. So this is my setup. I've got a really lovely computer that I work from. If anyone's interested, this little torch is from Ikea and when it's dark, you can just shine it on the keypad so you can see it. And I always make sure that when I'm editing, I always use my hard drive to make sure all the data is stored correctly. So I'm going to get on with this now and I'm going to show you how I edit using Canva software. So this is the original design I had for one of her older um, vouchers that I did for her. She does a lot of giveaways over on her Instagram page. So this is her logo. So I've gone through the process. This is the finished result. I've contacted Molly and she's already approved it. So I've changed the font here and put her to Instagram and Etsy links there. And I've also added her links to what she actually wants on the voucher and put the logo down here. So if anyone would like anything designed by me, this is the process that I use. This is called Canva. So what I usually do is just type in here an example. So I'm going to put voucher. And it'll come up with some ideas. So the only thing that I've taken from here is this background because I wanted to make sure that she wouldn't be copyrighted. Everything else I've generated myself with the colour scheme and the pictures. And they are some of the other designs. So there's lots that you can use on Canva. Wayne and I pay about £10.99 a month and it is worth it. We use it for all of our intros for our YouTube videos, our end screen, our thumbnails, and we even use it for some Instagram posts. So if you are starting out on YouTube or you're wanting to get into design, I don't do this for a fee, I do this just for fun. And I've worked with Molly on quite a lot of her business adventures. So I've designed her logos for her company, all of her um, stickers, 
invoices, everything to do with her Etsy page I've designed, including her Instagram and her Facebook banners and advertisement. And I also design all of her general seasonal advertisement for any giveaway she does, any competitions and any general um, advertisement she wants for her company. So if you are interested, go over to our Instagram page. We are Holiday with the Heathers and I will happily do this for free for you. I really enjoy it. As I said, we don't do it for a fee. I do it for the enjoyment and all that I would appreciate is that um, you just give us a shout out on your Instagram or in your story just so that we can get the word out there. I would love to do this one day as a career, but right now I'm happy just doing it as a hobby. So this was fun and Molly, I hope you like it. Hi everyone, we're just on our walk. We're about, how long have we been walking for? About half hour? Roughly about that. It's getting a bit cold now, so we might head home soon, mightn't we? Yeah, we will see you when we get back because we are going to make pizza. Pizzas! Woo! We didn't feel like doing our whole usual where we going today because I would literally go, where are we going today? Today we're going for a walk. Not very exciting. So bye. Bye. To be daring, baby, dance the night away I let my head down if I won Don't you just get tired chasing fame And being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better So it's Friday evening now and we're ready to make our pizzas. Before we start, I just want to talk you through what ingredients we've got in toppings. So I'll show you that now, just when I've got a second. So we went to Tesco yesterday, so everything here is from Tesco, except from the pizza bases, but I'll tell you about them in a second. So today we got hot dogs, we brought ham, We've got grated cheese, red onion, because I like red onion on a pizza. Jess is not a big fan of onion, but I certainly like the onion. We've got chicken, more cheese for extra uh, cheesiness. And we've also got tomato puree. Jess prefers a tomato-based pizza, whereas I'm not the biggest fan. I'll eat it if I have to, but if I have a choice, I'll always go for barbecue sauce. So this is a barbecue sauce dip that I got from, I think it was McDonald's a few days ago. Um, I got the chicken select meal and kept this, so I wanted to try and keep this perfectly for the base. These bases here, these weren't from Tesco, these were from Aldi. I'm not sure how much they were, I think about a pound, but I could be wrong, but we'll find out and put the uh, description below. And that's everything, so we'll start cooking now and we'll show you the result.
We finished the pizzas. Wayne's made a Caesar salad off of camera with all the normal ingredients. Wayne's got cheese, barbecue sauce, onion and hot dogs and chicken on his. And I've just gone for a normal tomato base with ham and chicken and cheese. So we're going to tuck into this and we are going to enjoy it. Hi everyone, we've just finished eating our pizzas, which were delicious. Wayne's gone to bed because he's tired, so I'm going to finish the vlog here. We hope that you have enjoyed it. Please like and give us a big huge thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more content and click the notification bell if you'd like to keep up to date with all of what we've going on with Holiday with the Heathers. I'm Jess, Wayne's in there and we will see you all soon. Bye guys.